Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to use the decount and decount A functions. So what the decount function does, and similar function decount A does, is it, bring, it brings back the count of a database, or a set of columns, or rows, based on some criteria. So it could be multiple criteria here. And it only brings back the value, or it brings back the count of the, of the database um, only for those areas where it's numeric. So that's what the count does. So let's go ahead and see an example of how this works. So let's say, for example, I want to see, um, I have, I set up my table here. This is a database table. And I also need to have a criteria table. And the headings have to match. That's how it, it looks it up. So let's say, for example, this is a smaller table, but if we had a bigger table, let's say I just wanted to see um, anything that was an apple, and the height was over 16, right? And then the, the way that I would count how many of the values here were apple and over 16, how many items were would, would match that, is I would use the decount function, which is equal decount, open parentheses. And the first thing is the database, which is basically the range of cells that we're looking up. The second argument is the field. So you can type in the name of the field and you have to enclose it in quotes. So for example, if I want to look, if I want to use, I can actually use any of these columns here because they have numbers and they'll count the numbers. It won't use this column because it doesn't have numbers. So I, I'll just use profit. So I click that column, but you don't want the cell reference. You want the title of that column or the column number. If we just, if we use the title of the column, I can I have to type in profit, which is in quotes P R O F I T, right? Or I can have just type in the number. This is the first column, second, third, fourth, fifth. I can type in fifth column, and I'll show you that later on to see that it works exactly the same. So we have to type profit, and then our criteria is basically this smaller table, which is a criteria which you have to include the head the headings. So if I close that with the parentheses and press enter it's going to count one because it sees one apple and there's only one apple row that is above 16. It's not 16, it's not this one, and this is 20 and there's 10, so it's counting this one. So it only sees one. Now, as I mentioned before, you can also just use the column number. If I use, maybe I'll use column four, one, two, three, four. I use four, it's going to just count any, all the numbers here. So it's going, to, it's going to follow this criteria and it's only going to use this column to count. So we can either select the column number, which is here is one, two, three, four, or we can type in the field heading, but we have to enclose it in quotes. So I'm going to just press enter to get that. So we can see we there's one apple, 16. If I wanted to choose all, if I wanted to go above 16, so if we had, if we wanted to see more apples, let's say that I wanted to include the one that's 16. Anything above 6, 15 it would include that 16. This would count. This count would go to two, as you can see there we've counted this row here, or we've counted this particular portion, because it's looking at the fourth column, one, two, three, four. It's counting that, and it's also counting this one. Of course, this one's 10. It's not above 15, so it doesn't count that. So let's say, for example, I had mentioned earlier, this, this particular form function, the decount, only counts numbers. So let's say we wanted to count a column that doesn't have numbers. If I choose that column, which is the first column, and I just type in number one there, or I can just type in tree in, in quotes, it's going to bring back zero because it does not count the column. It doesn't count cells that does not have numbers. So if you wanted to count cells, regardless if it had numbers or not, you can use the decount a formula. And what that does is it counts cells that are non-blank. So I can just use this particular function. Let me just go and scoop this up. Control C to copy. Press Escape, and then put it over here. Control V to paste. And I'm just going to put the letter A over here. And so it use, will use the decount A function. So now it's going to count anything that says Apple and over 15, right? So it's, it's going to count, oops, let me go ahead and bring back the fun, bring this back here. It's going to count, so now it's counted two. Let me go and escape. Now it's going to count this one, and it's going to count this one. And if I just delete height, it will count three. It will count three uh, items three non-blank items within this table in this column. So there's how you use the decount 
and decount a formula. So this is kind of a useful type of formula if you had a large table and you wanted to kind of put different criteria to count uh, based on that criteria, count either a uh, numerical count, if you didn't want to do a numerical count, you want to do a non-blank count, you can use decount A. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.